been so so hammered and it's dropped by 94.35%. What is up everybody, Gifford here and welcome back to another stock market video where I try to make money. So today I'm going to be talking about 8 stocks that have been beaten down over the last 12 months and I've actually invested money into them. We'll then compare the current share price to analyst estimates using the website Ticker Terminal, link in the description below. Before getting too carried away, I've just got to remind you guys that this is my Sharesies account, so this account is basically for learning. This is very speculative for me and this is a no way a recommendation to go out and buy these stocks. I'm just a guy on the interwebs sharing my stock market shenanigans, so I wouldn't be putting real money on my advice. If you watch to the end, I think the 8th stock that I bought was actually a mistake, but it was down over 90% in the last year. Please hit like on the video as it helps the channel out tremendously, and if you're interested in stock market investing, feel free to subscribe. With that said, let's get on with the video. So these 8 stocks have been beaten down badly over the last year, but I'm pretty much gambling on what goes down must come up. However, saying that, I am putting real money down and I believe that these companies can actually go up in the long term because it also is validated with the fact that analysts like them as well. A lot of these stocks have been on my watch list for the past year and we now have an opportunity to get them at a discount of over 50%. So the first stock we're going to look at which is down majorly is Corsair Gaming ticker symbol CRSR. When looking at the screen you want to pay attention to this 52 week high here which tells you at its all time peak which is $51.37. But even though Corsair Gaming has been up by 82% we can see here that if we pull this up at $51 back in November and drag it all the way down it's dropped by 49% so moving on to the website ticker terminal that's t-i-k-r in the overview we can see that Corsair Gaming designs markets distributes gaming and streaming peripherals components and systems around the world so we're then going to go over to valuation and over here in the streak targets we can see that right now the current price is around about $26 I think it's about here so the last price was $25.95 plus um, 34 cents from when it was ending last Friday but here's around about $26 and the analysts have a mean stock price of $39.70 and a high stock price of $49 but we're probably just going to pay attention to the mean stock price because we've got eight stocks to get through. So this tells us that the nine analysts actually think this stock is undervalued right now after dropping by 49% over the last 12 months and they see that if buying the stock price as the current price is going to have an upside of 152% to that price target right there. So stock number Number two that's had a massive drop is Smile Direct Club, ticker symbol SDC. So having a look at the graph, if I go here to the highest point and click down here, we can see that Smile Direct is down by over 67%. Ooh. So we can see at the overview that Smile Direct operates as an oral care company. So I don't know too much about this company, but all I know is that I've recently gone to the dentist and had a root canal and they charge me heaps. So if that's anything to go by, these guys are making a lot of money already. So moving on to the valuation and having a look at what the analysts think, the current share price now is $4.84, and we can see that their mean is $7.13. So that's an upside of 147%. So this one, the analyst thinks it's undervalued, and that's why I brought. So the third stock that's been destroyed over the last 12 months is Him and Hers Inc. Ticker symbol, H-I-M-S. And having a look at this graph here, which looks like a mountain, which you never want when you want to buy a stock, grabbing it here at $24.46 high and all the way down, and we can see it's down by over 70%. Just imagine if you invested a lot of money into this, you'd lose 70% of your capital. That would be pretty damn painful. So Him and Hers operates a multi-specialty telehealth platform that connects consumers to licensed healthcare professionals. And they have a target mean price of $12.25, which means it's 172% upside, pretty much close to doubling your money. So the fourth demo stock that we have is Paysafe, ticker symbol, PSFE. And looking by the chart at the highest point, we bring it over, it's down by over 57%. And I just want to point out that the market cap is around about $6 billion. So basically, this was a $12 billion company up here, and it just lost 50% or over 50% of its value, which is absolutely crazy for a massive company. So Paysafe provides digital commerce solutions to online businesses. And its current price is $8.24, with the analyst given it a mean target of $14.11 which is another big one of 171% upside. So the fifth stock we have here is Fiverr Limited, ticker symbol FVRR. Now I've been tracking Fiverr for such a long time, but the stock was always running up, 
and every time when I did think of getting back into it, it would run up again. If we have a look at Fiverr's graph, grab the highest point and then drag that, we can see it's down by about 49%. So Fiverr is in the gig economy sector that provides services all across the world. So it's currently priced at $164 and the analysts have a price target of $215. So only about 131% upside right now. So as you can see, the company got well overvalued according to analysts when it ran up so much. The next stock we have is a Chinese giant e-commerce, which is Alibaba Group, take a symbol BABA. -B -A. So have a look at the graph over the last 12 months, we can see drag it down here and we can see that it's dropped by over 50%. And the market cap on this is still absolutely massive at $430 billion. So that means that at its peak, it was close to a trillion dollars. So Alibaba is just listed as internet and direct marketing retailer, but we know it's a real massive business with different um, business models going for it so let's just not even bother with doing that so we're now over to the valuation and this looks a little bit funny because I think there's a bit of a glitch or error on this page here but anyway the price at the moment is $157.96 and the analysts have a mean price of 1784 I think that's wrong because they might have had a stock I know they had a stock split of 8 to 1 so if we come down here the estimates they can see that the stock price is going to go up by 173 percent just so we're on the same page let's have a look at what 173 percent is um, to that current price so we have 157.96 of its current price we times that by 173.8 that would mean that the analyst would expect this price target to be 274 dollars so this stock is, I've lost count, um, number seven. The number seven stock is Nano Dimensions, ticker symbol NNDM. And looking at the stock price chart here, it looks a little bit like Mount Cook and is the other one called Mount Tasman? I can't remember. Anyways, grabbing the highest point, we can drag it down here and we can see that it's down by over 66%. And I've talked about NNDM before and what they do is they make additive electronics and they're from Israel. The so NNDM is a bit of a funny one on this website here. We've got the current price of $5.64 and the analyst's mean target Target has given it a $10 price target however we can see here that the analyst has now disappeared um, and he doesn't even recommend a buy for this so not sure about this one but um, we know that the stock has been hammered I've again just bought a small position in this company so this company has been hammered by over 60% and what I've learned from that is that I know that this company has got some things that they're going to be releasing some new products new acquisitions later on in the future a big believer in this company is Ark Invest um, and that's where I first found it. So hopefully these guys can sort of wake up and do something in the next 12 months. But right now the stock price was just too um, tempting for me not to buy. So the last bonus stock that I have is TAL Educational Group, ticker symbol TAL. Its current price is $5.13 and we can see from the one day chart here, it looks all very nice. But if we go to the one year chart, it's a whole different story. So have a look at the highest point of the stock on this graph. It's at about $90.15 and we drag it all the way down. We can see that it's been so, so hammered and it's dropped by 94.35%. So just to state the obvious, at its highest peak, this company was way over $50 billion, but it's now valued at $3 billion, which is just crazy. So I did buy a small amount of tail because it dropped down so much, but this was a massive mistake on my part. So we're not going to go down to its valuation because I don't see it going up. If it does, I'm going to be exiting my position um, if I do make some money from it. But it was a bit of a mistake from me because we can see here from this article is that another group of US listed China stocks plunged as Beijing regulators crack down. So the key points here without reading the whole thing is that tail education. The main reason why it dropped down is because the reports come as China authorities stepped up restrictions in recent months on the private education industry. So the main push for these by the Chinese government is they don't want these private institutions to be charging heaps of money. What they basically want is they want closer to free education. And this is the biggest problem with owning Chinese companies is the laws just come in and your stock price will just get absolutely hammered and there's not much you can do about it. There are many more stocks down by over 50% from the recent highs, but that's just the eight stocks that I track. Also, I usually don't have time to make videos about this, so I guess this is one of the good things about lockdown. One of the questions I often get is why I have so many stocks. Again, I just wanna say this is on my Shares account, which I use for learning. If I see opportunity, 
I like to put a little bit of money down as this makes me interested and motivated to follow the company and find different sectors. But for huge growth, I still like to have a concentrated portfolio with only a few stocks. Well, that's enough for me today. Thank you so much for watching. The trading platform I use from New Zealand is Hatch Invest, Interactive Brokers and Sharesies for individual company stocks. For index funds, I use InvestNow and if you want to start your own investing journey, feel free to click the link of the referral codes down below. For those that haven't seen me before, my name is Gifford and I use this channel to document my journey in the stock market as I try to figure out how to be financially free and I share those videos with you. These series of videos is focused on stock market investing from someone new with a little over one year's experience. I'm trying to build up my portfolio to get me closer to financial freedom and my year's target is to have a $50,000 portfolio. Let me know if you have any questions and put them down in the comments below. As always safe investing and make sure you do your due diligence on the stocks that you buy. If you want to have a look at the stocks I own feel free to have a look at the older videos as I'm totally transparent and open with my holdings. I'm also on Instagram if you want to hear from me midweek. Otherwise may the gains be with you and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>